Good day everyone. Today we will understand some concepts and the process of evolution and its importance. Understanding the process helps us solve biological problems that impact our lives. For today's lesson, these are our learning objectives. Explain the process of evolution. Identify some scientists who contributed to the historical development of evolutionary thoughts. Compare Lamarckian and Darwinian evolution. Describe how the present system of classification of organisms is based. Interpret and explain the phylogenetic tree. And lastly, explain the importance of phylogenetic tree to evolutionary relationship of organisms. We study evolution for different reasons. One is to add knowledge and to understand the past, which is related to the future, and to organize our world. So going back to our previous lesson about evolution, evolution is the change in the heritable characteristics of biological populations over successive generations, and there are identified mechanisms of evolutionary changes. These are genetic drift, migration or gene flow, mutation, natural selection, and non-random mating. Genetic drift along with natural selection, mutation, and migration is one of the basic mechanisms of evolution. In each generation, some individuals may, just by chance, leave behind a few more descendants than the other individuals. The genes of the next generation will be the genes of the lucky individuals, not necessarily the healthier or the better individuals. It is also defined as a change in the gene pool of a population due to chance. Bottleneck is an example of a genetic drift. It takes place when population decreases due to various environmental factors such as earthquakes and floods. So here in the illustration, the original population composed of red and blue genetic members. So in the bottleneck event in which the population is greatly reduced, there are only few red individuals survive to pass the reduced number of genes to the new red population. Another example of a genetic drift is founder effect. When a small group of organisms separates from the larger group to invade a new area, it occurs when a small group of individuals leaves the main population and moves into a new habitat. Here is another mechanism of evolution which is gene flow. It is also known as gene migration or allele flow which is the transfer of genetic material from one population to another. If the rate of gene flow is high enough, then two populations will have equivalent allele frequencies and therefore can be considered a single effective population. When this happens, there is a tendency to increase the gene diversity in the population. Mutation is another mechanism of evolution that occurs when there is a change in the genetic makeup caused by environmental stressors. So when this happens, it expands the diversity of organisms. So understanding what is natural selection, it can explain the difference in survival of individual and reproduce in a particular environment in order to survive. The non-random mating increases the frequency of animal with desirable traits. So in mutation, it causes evolution because it includes the natural pool of gene variation. Now let us differentiate Lamarckism theory versus Darwin's theory. When we say Lamarckism, it is a theory of evolution that is based on the principle that physical changes in organisms during their lifetime, such as greater development of an organ, or a part through increase, use could be transmitted to their offspring. On the other hand, Darwin's theory involves natural selection and struggle for existence. When an organism is fit and can adapt to its environment, it survives and more chance to reproduce. Now let us describe how the present system of classification of organisms is based. This is what we call as phylogeny. It is the study of relationships among different groups of organisms and their evolutionary development. So there is this attempt to trace the evolutionary history of all life on the planet, which is based on the phylogenetic hypothesis that all living organisms share a common ancestry. 
So in phylogenetic, it is important because it enriches our understanding of how genes, genomes, and species evolve. So this is a representation of the evolutionary history and relationships between groups of organisms. So this is a phylogenetic tree. It is represented in a phylogenetic tree that provides a visual output of relationships based on a shared or divergent physical and genetic characteristics. In phylogenetic analysis, it is dependent on the type of data, the number of species, and the range of evolutionary relationships interpreted. And in phylogenetic tree, it can be read like a map of evolutionary history. Rooted phylogenetic trees have single lineage at base representing a common ancestor.